Hello there. It's been a long time since I was on camera, hasn't it? I might look a little bit different, but it's still me. So the first thing that I gotta tell you is that it is very weird to be vlogging or talking to camera without a script. Usually everything that you hear on my videos is scripted, totally written out by me. Not having something to read from a paper is very weird for me, but hopefully it will not be too cringeworthy. Second of all, I would love to welcome all the new subscribers. Uh, my channel's been growing a bit lately, which is pretty cool. I was kind of away during the summer, but I wanted to tell you all that I'm back 100% now. And welcome to the family, guys. I hope you enjoy the channel. I hope you enjoy the content that I'm going to be making in the future. And just, I don't know, let's make it big. Let's try to grow up this community, because the more the merrier, right? How can we actually do this? It comes down to you. If you guys like my channel, if you like my content, you have no idea how much a single like on one of my videos helps, how much a comment helps. It really makes the YouTube algorithm share my content to more people and therefore my channel will grow, my content will get better, I will be able to make this a full-time thing, which is my dream and you can be the reason for it. Third thing I want to talk about today is the 3,000 sub followers, whatever you want to call it, Mark, that we are hopefully close to achieving. And I am going to do another giveaway there. So let's try to race till 3,000 so that we can do another big RP giveaway because you guys definitely deserve it. As for the actual content of my YouTube channel, as you can see, what I'm doing right now is I am going to be posting one video for each champion in League of Legends. That's 140 videos, probably, because there'll be more champions coming out. And the point of these videos is to help you play versus them in lane. Imagine you are in champion select and you just notice that the opposing mid laner chose an Orianna. You can literally go into my video and while you're in champion select, pick one champion that counters her and then you keep listening to my video during champion select and the loading screen and also the beginning of the game obviously and I'll be telling you what you need to build, what you need to be careful about, how what you need to aim for and hopefully you'll be able to if not win lane, you will definitely not feed your lane. This is mostly to people having trouble dealing with certain types of champions, but it will help anyone. And believe me, at the end, I'll tell you power spikes for those champions, which is something that most high tier players really need to know. So if you're aiming to get out of bronze, silver, even gold, knowing power spikes is crucial to that climb. Apart from these champion videos, I want to also be doing some other league related content and other non league related content. So, for the non league related content, I'm going to be doing these types of vlogs where I can tell you all about what's happening with myself. But I'm also going to be starting a sort of lifestyle vlogging, which I know is not really the content of the channel, but I am sure most of you that really follow me and like me for me will enjoy it because, I mean, I make videos for a living, so hopefully they'll be high quality and, oh, by the way, I'm getting a new webcam because this one is horrible. There's two videos that I can tell you about which will probably come in the near future. Um, one is called 10 things you can buy for 10 euro RP. It will be about 10 things that you could be wasting or spending your money on rather than putting it on League of Legends for fictional clothing for a character. And I might be one of the worst examples of this because I've got loads of skins on League and I've spent way too much money on that game. But this is actually a video that I'm going to watch myself and try to remind myself that there's other things in this world you can buy. For example, flowers for your mom. You know how much more worthy it is to spend 10 euros in flowers for your mom rather than 10 euros in a fictional suit for a character. You can be making someone else so much happier than yourself for a skin that you might not even be using after two months of you buying it. I mean, doesn't it make sense? The second thing that I want to do is I want to go out into the streets and try to pick up girls using Lee catchphrases. Can you imagine going out in public trying to pick up girls using only Lee catchphrases? Well, I reckon that would be watchable content, if not for the slaps that I'll be getting hit by. Finally, in terms of my YouTube content, I would love to ask you what you would like to see on this channel. Because 
you are a big part of it. Believe it or not, you make this channel a reality. It is only natural that I would ask you what you want to see, what you would like me to change. Is there something you think I should improve on? Just let me know in the comments down below. I really want to make this a discussion video. So just let me know and hopefully I'll adjust to what your likes are. And last of all, I would just like to tell you some stuff that's been happening for me. This week, I had one of my good friends from England come and visit me in Porto. And I think she enjoyed her time. Hopefully, I tried to be the best host I could ever be. And touring around Porto, my city, I figured that it is so great that I would love to share the experience with all of you. So I might do a little video on what you should do, visit, eat, blah, 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 if you come to Porto, which you definitely should. In terms of my professional volleyball status, you should know that I had the most thrilling experience ever last weekend. I got to play versus a team that was just reformed this year. I was playing versus the best national players that we've got and we actually got to win a set versus them which you cannot imagine what it feels like i felt like a goddamn champion of the world when i won that set it was amazing two more teams have played versus them i believe in unofficial matches and they weren't able to win a set versus them okay it's fair to say that they were playing with subs versus us which means that they were rotating with their weaker players which if you still look at the other side of the team or if you still look at the other side it's the national volleyball team I'm playing against like their subs are the national Portuguese team and here I'm gonna hopefully be posting a picture on this side of them and on this side of me can you see me in the middle there I am one meter and 77 I was playing versus guys that are above two meters and I was scoring versus them like that's insane that's literally insane you feel like the king of the world when there's a 30 centimeter taller guy than you on the other side of the net and you can score versus him but it was like I was I was dreaming about this match for so long and being able to play it and being able to do well versus them is amazing the next thing is I started coaching a volleyball team. It's the first time that I'm coaching a team and it's been an awesome experience. I don't believe I could have asked for a better team. They are pretty amazing. And um, I've just met them or most of them for like the past two or three weeks. And just watching how they practice, watching how they play is really inspiring and I'm pretty sure a few of them are going to be watching this, so they'll get pretty cocky, but I need to say it. Like, I'm really proud of them, and I've been having the greatest time with them. You can see by this picture, they they do what they want for me. Like, I have no control over them whatsoever, but I mean, I'm happy, and I'm happy about being their coach, and hopefully I'll do a good job and they'll be happy about having me as their coach as well. Now, last but definitely not least, I got my master's degree, which is something that I was dreading for a long time coming. The ending of my master thesis was not the best, so I was definitely not sure whether I was going to pass it, but I need to tell you that I aced it, I had a good grade, I am officially a Master of Arts with Merit from Bournemouth University. And I can tell you now that I'm going to be dedicating my time to YouTube for the coming year. Hopefully, I'll be able to make this a full-time job starting 2019, which means I've got one whole year ahead of me to make my dream come true. And as I've said before, you've got such a big part in it. You guys are a huge part in it. It's only because of you that this channel exists. It would not be the same without you and it will never be the same without you. And all I can ask you is if you want to help me out, literally liking, commenting, sharing. Liking is amazing because it'll tell YouTube that my videos are good. Commenting will get the flow going. It will tell YouTube that my videos are good. And sharing will get new people watching my videos. So you do not understand the power that's in your hands. 
So please use it wisely. And thank you very much for watching. My hair is very big. So I'm thinking of cutting it next month. And sake us out.